Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to replace the battery in early 2009 through mid-2010 17-inch MacBook Pro models. When replacing the battery in these machines, it's important that you calibrate the power management system in order to get the full use of your battery. We include these instructions as well, so be sure to watch all the way to the end of the video. We've already gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and are working on a soft, static-free work surface. We're now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 Phillips screws which will need to be removed. These three screws are longer than the others, so we'll remove those first. Then, remove the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. You can now remove the bottom cover and set it aside. Detach the battery connector by gently sliding it out of its socket by the plastic tab. Once the connector is detached, we'll need to remove the three trilobe screws that hold the battery in. Once you've removed the screws, all you should need to do is detach the battery label from the speaker assembly and you should be able to lift the battery up, slide it out from under the tabs, and lift it out of the MacBook Pro. Set your new battery into the MacBook Pro so that these three notches fit under these three tabs and make sure it sits flat in the bay. You can now replace the three trilobe screws that hold the battery in place. Finally, align the battery connector with its socket and gently but firmly slide it back into place. We can now close up the MacBook Pro. Set the bottom cover back into place and press down on the center to engage the snaps. Use the three longest screws in the three rightmost holes on the hinge edge Then replace the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on. Now that the battery is installed and working, we need to calibrate the power system. We'll be demonstrating the process with a MacBook Pro, but it's the same for all MacBook models. First, shut your computer all the way down. Then, attach the power adapter. The light on the adapter should turn amber to show that the battery is charging. Once the battery is 100% charged, the light should turn green. Once it has, you should leave it connected for at least two more hours. However, you can use your computer during this time rather than leaving it off. After that, we'll need to discharge the battery. First, in the Energy Saver Preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures, like sleeping the hard drive, are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery settings. Once you've done that, disconnect the power cable and let the battery discharge completely until the computer shuts down. You can still use it at this time, but don't do anything particularly heavy. Steady and even usage will result in better power system calibration. Once the battery is discharged, your computer will automatically shut down. Leave it shut down for at least 5 hours to ensure the battery is completely drained. 
Finally, reattach the power cable and let the battery charge back up to 100%. This time, you can use the computer while it's charging. Once the battery is charged back up, the power management system is properly calibrated. You can now set your energy saver settings back to what they were before and use your computer normally. 